friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Monday, I'm back, I'm back from Hawaii, I am back to meal prepping and I'm really, really excited about this week's recipes. We're doing breakfast, lunch, and dessert. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not because I do a meal prep every Monday for the most part unless I'm out of town. And of course, I upload five videos per week. Check out the description box down below where you'll find my recipe website. That's where you will find all of today's recipes and every other recipe I've created here on my channel. Nutrition coaching, I cannot recommend enough personalized macros and calories. That is how I've lost well over 125 pounds. You'll also find one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like the accountability of talking with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and of course, come on over, join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. One last thing before we jump into meal prep, I will be out of town this next week. Again, I'm actually going to a continuing education nutrition conference in California, so there will not be a meal prep next Monday, but then I'm back. I'm back to meal prepping every single Monday. So let's jump in to this week's recipes. This week I'm making spiced zucchini apple baked oatmeal and we're even adding a cinnamon glaze. I'm so excited for this. It's been a long time since I made baked oatmeal and it gives me all the fall vibes. So let me show you what's in our recipe. First you're going to need some yogurt. You could use vanilla yogurt. I don't have any so I'm just going to use non-fat plain yogurt. You'll need some almond milk, rolled oats, powdered sugar alternative of your choice. As always, I'm using Lakanto. I actually just got a big Lakanto order in, and this is the Lakanto powder. It's great, it tastes just like regular sugar and saves you lots of calories and points. I will link Lakanto down below for you with 15% off site-wide, so you can order anything on their website. By the way, they do have some really fun like pumpkin spice flavor, muffin mix and bread mix and all sorts of good stuff on their website, so definitely check them out. And again, use the link down below for 15% off. You'll also need some light butter. I'm substituting pumpkin pie spice in place of cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice that the recipe calls for. Again, just to give it a little more fall vibes. Some vanilla extract, maple syrup, as always, Lakanto is my go-to, unsweetened applesauce, baking powder, eggs, fresh zucchini, and some honey crisp apples. So the first thing I'm going to do is grate some zucchini. I'm going to dice some apple and then thinly slice some apple to place on top. I'm going to place my zucchini on some paper towels and we want to squeeze out as much of the moisture as we can from the zucchini and then we'll just put it back into our bowl. To start on our baked oatmeal we're going to add one cup of almond milk, one quarter cup of sugar-free maple syrup, two tablespoons of light melted butter, vanilla extract, half of a cup of unsweetened applesauce, our shredded zucchini, and two eggs at room temperature. And then mix that together until fully combined. To the wet mixture, we're then going to add in our dry ingredients, starting with two cups of rolled oats, a teaspoon of baking powder, and your spices. Again, I'm using pumpkin pie spice. I'm going to put in about two tablespoons. Give that a quick stir just to initially mix. And then we're going to fold in all of our yummy diced apples. You also can add in raisins or chopped nuts if you would like as well. I'm going to skip those. This is going to be perfect. I did spray either an eight by eight or nine by eight baking dish with some nonstick cooking spray. Add your oat mixture to the bottom. And then you're just going to want to spread that out evenly and press into place. 
This smells so good, so cinnamony, so fall. So now we're going to add these thinly sliced apples just right on top. Now this is optional, but I think this adds a nice aesthetic to it. And also you'll get that yummy baked apple every with every bite of the oatmeal bake. So I definitely wanted to add some thin sliced apples. I'm also going to sprinkle just a little bit of pumpkin pie spice right on top of those apples. Look how amazing this looks. I'm so excited. This is going into a 350 degree oven for 35 to 40 minutes. We wanna make sure the oatmeal is completely baked through and set. While our oatmeal's in the oven, we're going to make that really good vanilla cinnamon glaze. So as soon as it's out, cooled, we can glaze the top. So I'm going to add two tablespoons of non-fat Greek yogurt to a small bowl. Again, you can use vanilla yogurt if you have that on hand. I'm adding the rest of the Lakanto powdered in my container here, which is about a tablespoon. A little bit of vanilla extract. Some pumpkin pie spice. You can also use just cinnamon. And then we're adding almond milk until we have the right glaze consistency. So I always add just a tiny bit to start and stir. It's better to have too little milk than too much because you want that thicker glaze consistency. So it's a little thick, I'm going to add just a tiny bit more almond milk. There we go, that looks perfect. So that's kind of the consistency that you want, something that you're able to drizzle right on top. Once your oatmeal bake cools, we're going to drizzle right on top that yummy glaze that we made. And there's the finished oatmeal bake. This looks incredible. Look how thick that is. Basically, we're simulating an oatmeal bar with glaze. This is going to be so great for breakfast. I'm going to pair this with some protein, eggs, turkey bacon, center cut bacon. You could even do some yogurt or cottage cheese, but I can't wait to have all the fall feels for breakfast. this week I'm making a sweet potato black bean burger with quinoa if you are vegetarian this is the perfect recipe for you I just wanted to incorporate a quick plant-based recipe and something that I can easily eat for lunch until I head out on Thursday for my trip to California so let me show you what is in our burgers first you're going to need a can of black beans quinoa broth of your choice. It calls for vegetable broth. I have chicken broth open in my fridge, so I'm going to use that. Rolled oats, salt and pepper. As always, I will link my gravity fed salt and pepper grinders down below. We love these. Every one of you that have purchased them, love them. They're fun, easy to use, super affordable. So I'll link those for you. You'll need quite a few spices, cumin, garlic powder, and paprika. The recipe also calls for cayenne pepper, which I eliminated because we know I don't love spicy, but if you do, you can add that. A pound of sweet potatoes, a small sweet onion, and some fresh cilantro. The first thing I'm going to do is chop up my sweet potatoes, my onion, and my cilantro. So to get started, you'll need a medium saucepan. You're going to add in your diced up sweet potatoes, one half of a cup of quinoa, and one cup of broth. We're going to put this on the stove, bring it to a boil, cover it, and allow it to cook for about 20 minutes until the sweet potatoes are tender. We're going to make up our seasoning mix while our quinoa and potatoes are cooking on the stove. So we're going to add salt and pepper to a small bowl. We're going to add garlic powder, cumin, and paprika. You would also add in cayenne pepper if you were using that as well. And then I'm just going to give this a quick stir and we'll set this aside. So the sweet potatoes and the quinoa is cooked through. I went ahead and drained and rinsed my can of black beans. We're adding everything to a medium bowl. So let me add in the quinoa and the sweet potatoes. Go ahead and throw your oats through a food processor, grind them down so that they're a coarse flour, so like a coarse oat flour. We're going to add in that seasoning mix that we made and our chopped cilantro and onion. And then stir that together until fully combined. Grab out a very large skillet, spray it with some nonstick cooking spray. And then using your hands, you're gonna go in and roll out eight burger patties and put them into your fry pan. Okay. 
All right, here's what our burgers look like. These look delicious. I'm going to get them on the stove and let's fry them up. These smell so good. Let them fry up. Go ahead and flip them about halfway through. You can tell the, I don't know if the camera's showing it, but they are a little bit browned on the bottom. That's what you want. Everything is cooked in the burger. So we're just crisping them up and letting those onions soften a little bit. So here are my finished black bean sweet potato quinoa burgers. These look delicious. You could add some avocado, cheese. You could pair them with your favorite bun. You could make an actual burger out of these with lettuce and tomato. There are so many things that you can do. I'm very excited to have a plant-based lunch this week. I will go ahead and put points, calories, serving size, macros, all the good stuff here on the screen for you. But if you're vegetarian, vegan, or you just want to live a day in the life of a plant-based eater, definitely recommend. this week I'm making pumpkin muffins. These are even glazed pumpkin muffins. Supposedly, per the recipe, these are the best pumpkin muffins out there. So I can't wait. Let me show you what's in the recipe. First, you're going to need all-purpose flour, brown sugar, and powdered sugar substitute. As always, I'm using Lakanto. Don't forget they are linked down below with 15% off for you. You'll need some milk, granulated sugar substitute. This is just the Lakanto granulated. Light butter, unsweetened applesauce, vanilla extract, baking powder, baking soda, cinnamon, a can of pumpkin, pumpkin pie spice, and of course, some eggs. So to get started on our muffins, we're going to add one and a half cups of canned pumpkin, one half of a cup of unsweetened applesauce, two eggs at room temperature, and some vanilla extract and then give that a stir until fully mixed. Now we're going to add in one and three quarters cups of flour, half of a cup of Lakanto granulated, half of a cup of Lakanto brown sugar, salt, pumpkin pie spice, cinnamon, and a teaspoon each of baking powder and baking soda and then stir just until combined. We do not want to overmix. That will make our muffins a little on the spongy side. So we want to stir just until everything is incorporated. Pull out your muffin pan, spray it with some nonstick cooking spray. And then we're going to scoop our muffin mix out to 12 muffins. You can fill them very, very full. That way they overlap a little bit and they make those bakery style muffins. Before our muffins go into the oven, we're making a crumble, like a streusel topping. So I added one quarter cup of Lakanto granulated, one quarter cup of Lakanto brown, three quarters of a cup of flour, and six tablespoons of light butter melted. And then we're going to mix this all together and that's going to be the streusel topping. I'm going to just crumble that right on top of the muffins. We're putting our muffins into a 375 degree oven for five minutes. Then we're actually going to reduce the temp to 350 degrees and allow them to cook for an additional 10 to 15 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean. While our muffins are in the oven, let's make a glaze to go right on top. We'll just drizzle this over the top of that streusel. So I have about a cup and a half of Lakanto powdered. I'm going to add a milk by the tablespoon until I have that right consistency. Again, it's better to add too little milk then too much milk add about a tablespoon stir and continue until you have the right consistency for a glaze now that looks absolutely perfect I would say I added between two and three tablespoons of milk total All right muffins are out of the oven these smell so good it's like a bakery in here like a fall bakery that crumble on top looks Amazing. I am going to let these cool completely before we glaze them. Once your muffins are cooled, we are going to glaze them. I put them on a cutting board just to prevent maybe a little less mess than I would normally get, but you're going to go ahead and drizzle over that glaze. 
So here are our finished muffins. I can't tell you how amazing these look. I love that we have a streusel topping. We have frosting on our muffins. I will go ahead and pop up here on the screen the points, calories, and macros for you. Again, a great sweet treat. You could even have these for breakfast with your favorite protein source. But again, we need all the fall feels in this week's meal prep. for this week's WW meal prep. I hope you are as excited about these three recipes as I am, and don't forget there will not be a meal prep next Monday, but here on my channel under playlists, I have all my meal preps that I've done, which is hundreds. So definitely check those out for lots of recipe inspiration. Don't forget you'll find my recipes on my website, and down in the description box, you'll find nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and my Facebook group, definitely come join us there. We'd love to have you. Happy Monday, friends. I hope you have an amazing, amazing day, and I'll see you in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. Bye.